Good morning. It's Bob Chu again from Stewart and Isla Mirada Boat Works with another latest launch. We just did a Stewart latest launch last week. Now we're doing an Isla Mirada latest launch. Conditions remain the same, steamy as can be, last day of August. But I'd like to welcome you aboard this absolutely stunning Aquamist 24 Mirada. Everything on the boat is Aquamist, which is a light, light green. Some people will tell us that it's blue tint. It's not, it's Aquamist, light green. Um, really, really pops in the sun. Almost looks like mint on the water. Just saw it this morning for the first time. So yeah, this is a very special hard top version of the 24 Murata. Special in that a lot of little details were brought to the, the ordering process, primarily from the wife of the couple that are buying this boat, but also the, the husband who certainly was involved. Um, and I'll point those out as we go along. This boat's uh, destined for Isla Mirada of all places. So yeah, it's a great story. So starting at the bow, Minn Kota Trova, you've, you've all seen that um, system. However, this one is on a power pucks mount, um, which is, we've done maybe three or four of them by now. Um, super clean, all the wiring is concealed inside the mount itself. 36 volt, of course. Then moving aft, something we haven't done before, although several people have asked about it, but this is the first customer that actually proceeded with it, which is a forward raised casting platform, something you'd more typically see on a skiff. But, you know, heck, why not? I mean, it, it certainly uh, increases your visibility. And this couple is going to fish in Isla Mirada as well as over in Flamingo. So you've seen enough of these 24 Isla Maradas that you probably know about our hatches forward, an separate anchor locker, big storage compartment here with a smaller compartment below it, two rod storage compartments, you know, really nice, really deep. I know you won't be able to see them from that angle, but it's just, and all of our um, gasket material is sea deck material, so it's, it's really nicely done. Um, in the floor storage compartment that at times has been modified to be a fish box, but not here. Frigid rigid uh, 65 quart fiberglass cooler as standard. There is a cushion for this, but uh, just didn't make it here in time for the video. By the way, speaking of the cushions, the upholstery, this is all from a new vendor um, driven by the customer. Um, as well as the logo itself, the color, the threading, uh, the the diamond stitch. Uh, this is the first Isla Mirada we've done a diamond stitch on. So yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, again, you can't see this. Of course, we have the batteries there, but there is a power pole charge system on board that charges your trolling motor batteries while underway. Um, so that's become more and more popular. VHF mounted in here, out of the way. Another custom item you don't see here because again, it's not here like the cushion. There'll be a 16 inch or 17 inch tall windshield here that'll follow the contour of the pipework. So we're waiting on that as well. Um, the Key West hardtop, this is I think only the second hardtop boat that we've done it with the Key West. That's now our standard hardtop. Um, you'll see there's a Lumatech um, light bar, a razor light bar on the hardtop also becoming really popular for us. It's the perfect size for our top. Um, so neat, clean, functional. These people are very serious about their fishing and yet want to keep the boat very clean. So back at the helm, uh, again, real simple, real clean, 16 inch Garmin, JL Audio head for the stereo. Something they opt for, which is a little glove box, which we used to do a lot of. It's functional, you can see my wallet, my car keys, sunblock, so forth. Um, Lenko trim tabs with indicators, five inch Yamaha gauge, C-Zone digital switching, which you're used to seeing. If you haven't looked at this closely, it does have a digital voltage for battery one, battery two, and for your trolling motor batteries. It's kind of cool, you can see it right here without wondering what's the state of, uh, of charge of those batteries. When we get to the helm itself, this is um, a tilt helm, of course. 
which is standard, uh, your trim for your jack plate, um, and a switch for your light bar. Before I forget, uh, this helm is topped off with a brand new custom wheel from Gem. And I also don't want to overlook the rigging, of course, which we're very proud of. Down below, you can see this is uh, rigged as professional as you could possibly hope for. Nice, neat access to everything as well. Of course, the batteries on the front side, which I didn't bother to show you, but yeah, we're really proud of that. Um, we've got a great crew rigging our boats now. One more personal touch this, this couple won it was this custom leaning post. It is a bird saw leaning post. Um, however, some of the changes, taller backrest, as opposed to our standard backrest, um, a, a little thicker cushion on the butt section, um, the diamond stitch that you saw forward, the nice embroidered Isla Mirada logo, independent fold-down footrests, very cool concept, as well as no rod holders and no drink holders. So moving to the aft deck here, which in keeping with the theme of the boat, it's simple. Um, you have the center optional stern seat with the cushion and removable backrest. Cushion's removable, simply sliding it out of the way, throw it forward when you're live baiting. Um, same upholstery, of course. Access to the main live well. In that regard, does this has uh, the regular 35 gallon standard live well, as well as uh, it's plumbed with the narrator. The starboard tank or compartment is also plumbed, also with an aerator. Port side is left as storage. Um, great bilge access as usual with the two releases, releases on the hatch to get completely into the bilge. Bilge also is an absolute work of art. Um, super proud of it. This is pretty much the standard motor, the 300 Yamaha. Um, on the Atlas jack plate, two power poles, um, eight foot power poles, and away you go. I mean, this boat is ready to fish, um, and yet pure and simple and just stunning on the water. So if you like what you see and you have interest in building an Isla Mirada, the best riding bay boat on the water, please give me a call. It's Bob Chu, Stewart and Isla Mirada Boat Works, right here in Stewart, Florida.